My name is Camilo Mejia. I am an Iraq War veteran, resistor, and conscience objector. I served in the military from 1995 um, through 2010. My original uh, military contract of eight years would have ended in the year 2003. It didn't because I was stop lost. Stop lost is um, an extraordinary power given to the commander in chief to hold um, members of the military in the military past their military commitment during times of national emergency or war. And because of that, I, my, my contract was extended um, in order for me to be deployed to the Iraq war in 2003. And as a result of my refusal my, to return to my unit after a two week furlough, I was court-martialed, and between the time served in jail and the appeals that followed my, uh, my conviction, I ended up staying in the military until 2010. When I first deployed to Iraq, my opposition to the war went from being political and abstract to being more personal and more heartfelt and more moral due to our first mission in Iraq, which was to run a prisoner of war camp in a place called Al-Assad, where we had occupied um, a former bunker of the Iraqi Air Force that had been turned into a detention facility. Um, our job was to basically guard prisoners and keep them sleep deprived in order to prepare them for interrogations. The sleep deprivation occurred through a number of tactics that amounted to psychological torture and included uh, mock executions through um, pistols and um, explosion-like sounds created with sledgehammers, um, also included sensory deprivation um, and mistreatment, basically. This was my first mission in Iraq, and it was the beginning of a transformation in my opposition to the Iraq war from abstract and political to an opposition grounded in uh, on the ground experience and my moral values. Uh, from the very beginning of our time in Iraq, it became clear that we were not there um, to follow the rules of uh, engagement or um, the laws of war, which would require members of the US military to limit our, our uh, tactical and strategic military operations to places where there are no uh, high numbers of civilian. Um, rather than following those rules, we um, set up traffic control points and conducted patrols in highly civilian populated areas, such as mosques, schools, um, public plazas, uh, markets, you name it, and we were there. And the, um, the result was that we killed mostly unarmed civilians in our firefights and, and, and patrols and various different interactions with members of the Iraqi resistance. For the first time after seven months in the Middle East and five months in combat in Iraq, it became pretty clear there was no justification for all the things that we had done in, in Iraq. I realized that there had come a point in my life where I had to choose between being a, a person of conscience and being an obedient soldier. And I chose to be a person of conscience and to put my weapons down and say no. And that's when I decided to apply for a conscience objector discharge and surrender myself to the military after um, being absent without leave for uh, five months in the U.S. I believe President Obama sh should um, initiate a, a commission on truth on the Iraq war 
and accountability. And without having a truth commission, I think that there's too much that will remain unsaid. We have to, to talk about this openly and uh, to learn from the many mistakes that we have made and that we continue to make. And it will take leadership from the highest um, levels of government to change. And that would help establish uh, a more, more peaceful way for nations to relate to one another and resolve conflict.